Oh, dude, look at that snake right there. Y'all look at that snake. Oh, man, he's huge. Look at him right there. I was like, man, I can't believe I've been through this whole place and I haven't seen a snake all day today. And there's the first one. Dang. Big old black racer. He's not, I don't, that's not a, uh, that's not a water moccasin. That's a black rat snake or a black racer. That's what it looks like. Oh yeah, there he goes. Man, he's every bit of close to three feet. He's hunting him up a frog or a lizard or something. Hi, here he goes. Good Friday morning, everyone. Finally Friday and I don't have to work this weekend. So I'm super stoked about that. And, uh, but before we get to the weekend, I got a mulching project we got to do today. So I'm gonna show you guys what that is right now. Let's see what we got. So this is today's project. We got two ponds here. This is the main one. This one's not too bad because we can't really get around the backside over there. Um, it's just too thick with those pines. I've already walked it when I came out here to look at the job. I am, we are going to clean up this corner and uh, maybe a little bit down there as well, get what we can. But this is the main pond and we're going to start, probably I'll go ahead and just kind of start right here at this corner and we're going to work our way down. Some of this right here I really can't reach. Um, some of it I, I can, but it goes pretty far down in there right there but once it comes it wraps around over here i can get pretty close over here when i first came to look at this i don't know a month or so ago it wasn't all this overgrown i could actually see down in there now everything's bloomed and it's uh become quite overgrown but yeah there's a nice little pond in there and uh the owner wants to be able to get to it and fish so we're gonna try to make that happen so i got the kubota and I got Munster, aka Munchy, aka the Prenoth. And we're gonna get this party started right now, so let's get at it.
Okay, everyone. I think this pond is done for what I can do. I'm not super happy with from where that corner was over there down to about right there where that big stump is. It's not super great. There's two real issues here with mulching this pond. One is with the wax myrtles. They're hanging way out over the pond. They're really big, which are not too big to mulch. Wax myrtles mulch very easily. The wood fiber in them is very soft. They're really, really big and they're way out into the water, almost in the, like that one's like in the water. If I come along here and mulch that and cut that right there, it's just gonna fall into the water and I have no way to pull it really back up this way. Um, and so they'll just be left in the water the best thing probably to do would be to come through here like whichever ones you want to take out and just chainsaw them at the bottom and then come back with the mini with the bucket and the thumb and just snatch them out get them out here into this field and then you know, we could pile them up right there or you know make another pile and mulch them down whichever one the other issue with some of these trees like these in here like i would have liked to take down a couple of these little saplings but they're kind of out over the pond and that's typically not an issue but i've got a tree here i've got a cedar here and a water oak here or a willow oak and there's no way for me to get in here with the head and try to push the trees out onto the ground as i cut them so if i were to just stick the head in there and cut that or that one the top is going right into the pond and we don't want that so I can only do what I can do with that. But the dam from here, all this looks really good actually. The dam turned out great. The dam was a disaster. But from like right there on down, I was really able to clean this up real nice. And there are still some wax myrtles hanging out. There's a big old willow tree right there hanging out over. But all this is wide open through here. There's plenty of spots to stand here you know, and fish or whatnot, plenty of room. So this all actually turned out really good through here. Um, some bigger trees, but I was able to get, you know, the closer I can get to the edge, the easier it is for me to mulch it. I, you know, it's hard for me to get to the edge over there too. But all this looks really good. And then I just kind of stopped here at this corner because I don't know if this backside is a priority. And really the way the bigger trees are in here because a lot of this on this side is the wax myrtles hanging over and they're kind of stuck in a lot of these bigger poplar trees some massive poplars in here there's no way for me to really to get to to do any of those wax myrtles and really do anything with what else i can do without having to take out a whole bunch of stuff in the process so i'm gonna let him you know give me a little more direction on this backside. I don't think that was as much as a priority as the front was because it was completely overgrown. This isn't too bad in here as far as it being overgrown. A little bit of handwork and a chainsaw and it would turn out pretty well. But, well, yeah, this looks good. We're going to go do the front of the other pond over there really quick, corner to corner, and that'll be about it for this job for now. I'd like to come back and just rip all that stuff out with the bucket, but we'll see what he wants to do.
Well, this pond is done too. Cleaned all this up right through here. And just kind of mowed the edge down, just a little bit of grass, and then just kind of cleaned up that corner down there. That's a, that corner right there is about as far as I could go because it really starts to slope off between that pine and the uh, and the bank. So there's a big pine right there, and then between that and the bank of the pond, it slopes pretty hard and not really. And the ground is kind of soft up the bank too. So I really couldn't go much further than there anyway. All that stuff is overhanging the pond, but yeah. But there's no way to go around the backside. When I came out here and looked at this job, the uh, owner and I both walked that backside, and there's there's no way to get a machine all the way back around uh, with all those big pines in the way. It's impossible. So and they don't want to take down any of the pines. Um, so I think when mostly when the kids come out here, they mostly kind of fish from the corners here on a, on and along the road so that was the main thing was getting this part cleaned up for this pond but i wish i could have gotten more of this i just i could not reach down for far enough far enough to get down to the very very edge down there i wish i could have but i was pulling the machine out you know as far as i could go and that hill goes down but regardless i got everything i could this would have been a really good job this part of this job right through here and on around would have been you know basically from this corner down to the corner where the dam starts would have been a really good job for a you know a bigger size excavator you know something like a you know 140 to a 180 you know 140 160 size machine um that would you know could sit right here on the edge and then you know have a little more reach to reach up because what happens is you know that's so far down you know you're on a radius so the further down you try to reach the less reach that you have and you know just going down that far you just with that machine just doesn't have the reach to quite get down there but you know, if you had a 145 or a 160 right here on this bank you could reach all of this easily down there now you wouldn't be able to do that dam i mean i shoot the mini barely got on that dam back there uh, minis are really good for doing these little dams and stuff like that. that's where they really shine because a lot of the dams that we have are really really small and getting a full-size excavator or a bigger excavator on them it's just a not an option but for this part through here and around you know a bigger excavator would have worked really well but not there yet maybe one day we'll see but for what the mini can do it does really good for most ponds you know, if I can, as long as I can reach, this is a really steep, steep bank on a pond for around here. Most of them don't have embankments this steep and this far down. But, oh, dude, look at that snake right there. Y'all look at that snake. Oh, man, he's huge. Look at him right there. I was like, man, I can't believe I've been through this whole place and haven't seen a snake all day today. And there's the first one. Dang. Big old black racer. He's not. I don't, that's not a. Uh, that's not a water moccasin. That's a black rat snake, or a black racer. That's what it looks like. Oh yeah, there he goes. Man, he's every bit of close to three feet. He's hunting him up a frog or a lizard or something. Hi, here he goes. I'll get him some breakfast or some dinner here in a bit. Later, buddy. Enjoy the sun. He's out here sunning himself, looking for something to eat. All right, that's my afternoon. It's Friday, I'm out of here. I'm taking the weekend off. I'm going to my sister's reveal party. My sister Allie and her husband Adam are expecting their first child. Congratulations to Allie and Adam. We're going to the reveal, Misty and I are going to the reveal party, see if we're having a niece or a nephew, and uh, we're excited about that, so I'm taking the weekend off and I'm enjoying myself. I'll check you guys later, more stuff to come, big stuff next week, stay tuned, and I'm out. Bye everybody.